In 2011, Arizona was brought to their knees with pain because of a shooting of Gabby Gifford um, right here in Tucson. Um, I'm talking with two ladies who have followed that journey back to where she is now, along with her husband, Mark Kelly, and that is uh, filmmakers Betsy West and Julian Cohen. And um, I'll tell you, ladies, um, I watched the film last night. Um, I am still choked up, still just amazed at this road recovery um, and this documentary about Gabby about won't back down, and she doesn't. She's amazing. And you guys captured this along with Mark Kelly. Let's talk a little about this documentary and, and again, how it is about someone who did not give up the fight for a lot of reasons, um, which is amazing. And, and it brought on a, a lot to me emotions, and I know it's going to bring a lot of emotions to a lot of people about what we're dealing with in our country. But the documentary is so amazing. How was it making this documentary? You know, you might think that it would be painful or difficult or depressing to tell the story of a couple who contended with the level of tragedy that these people did, someone who was shot very directly in the brain and has spent 11 years fighting to recover from this incredibly severe and traumatizing injury. And yet making this film was like sheer pleasure. Spending time with Gabby Giffords uh, is fun. This is someone who brings energy, enthusiasm, humor, and a lot of music and singing into everything she does. And uh, that worked its way into the film and made it really a joy. Yeah, uh, and this film is again about recovery um, and the role that she did. And you said right there, it is, it is lighthearted and sometimes, but also um, as I got, I got kind of, um, how can I say, a little pain with her going through this and the frustration that she was facing and doing. But it also shows people out there who might have a family member, who might have a, a brain trauma, um, what can happen, how they can stick with them and how they can make this work. And I think that's really the, the, the part that give, Gabby wants them to learn here is that don't back down from, from your tragedy. Yeah. I mean, we were so lucky that Senator Kelly uh, shared with us the videos that he made from pretty early on in his wife's rehabilitation that show the slow and, as you say, sometimes painful and sometimes in retrospect, kind of funny progress that Gabby made uh, going from, you know, being in a coma and not being able to talk at all to slowly regaining language. And, you know, we have to thank Gabby Giffords for allowing us to watch this. Uh, it is pretty instructive. And uh, we learned a lot about what it takes to come back from, from aphasia, which is what Gabby suffers from. And as you suggest, many, many Americans suffer from aphasia. Asia, not necessarily from an injury, uh, direct shooting to, to the brain, but from uh, strokes and, and other disabilities. And I think Gabby's story shows the importance of just intuitiveness and hope and resilience and uh, I think can give people a path toward trying to come back from something that's so devastating. Yeah, and again, I loved just the family part of it too. The love that was put together by everyone around there, even the stepchildren, who one of them even said, I don't want to give too much away, but said, you know what, at first, you know, she didn't like Gabby. She didn't, she didn't like they were part of the house, of, of her home. And, and now um, she is showing so much love and respect for the work that she's done there. And the love that Mark has for her is just amazing. And decisions that he had to make. And I know I'm giving too much away, but I, I got to say, this is something that everyone needs to go and see and, and watch. And that's one reason why you have done these kind of documentaries. I mean, you, we know about the, uh, of course, uh, the Supreme Court, uh, Ruth Ginsburg, and, and the other ones you've done. But this one is really one that is, is definitely going to be very powerful and hitting home for a lot of people. Uh, well, we certainly hope that that's true. I mean, you know, we were moved by um, this story, not only what Gabby went through, but as your question suggests, like, you know, when something as serious um, happens in a family, the whole family is is impacted. Um, you know, Mark Kelly, before he was a senator, really 
made major shifts in his entire life to devote himself to caregiving for the wife while also continuing to uh, push forward on some of the ambitions that the couple had shared uh, before the injury, like going up and commanding the space shuttle, something that happened about four months after Gabby was shot in a quite dramatic moment. Uh, uh, th then taking some time off after his wife was released from the hospital to devote himself to her caregiving and then moving forward and deciding that he was, in a sense, going to pick up where she left off in, in politics. Gabby was on track to become a U.S. senator and possibly even even more. Um, that's not possible because she has to devote so much time to her to her recovery at this point, although she does a host of other activities. Um, and Mark decided to pick up the mantle and become uh, the politician in the family, something he needed some help uh, from his wife to, uh, uh, to implement. Yeah, yeah, one of our favorite scenes is Gabby giving a little bit of advice to her husband on how to deliver a speech on the floor of the Senate. Yeah, it's just incredible to see the whole uh, process of her um, going through this and him going through it. It's so amazing. Um, I, I know we got to wrap up here. What's one thing you want people to take away from this movie? You know, I think that uh, Gabby's story is an example of a person who has suffered one of the most traumatic events that you can possibly imagine and has found a way to pivot. You know, not only does she have a fulfilling personal life uh, with her family, but she also has gone from being a congresswoman, public servant, to being a public servant and an activist. And I think that uh, is pretty inspiring. As Gabby would say, be a leader, keep fighting, don't give up. And, uh, you know, I hope people will come away with a kind of exuberant feeling of uh, it's, it's infectious to be around her for us in person. It was infectious. And I think it's infectious in the movie as well, just to just to, to be gabified. So I, I thank you, too, for joining us. And, and again, I, I thank you for putting this movie together. I mean, I know it's a long road for some of these uh, to do, but this is definitely one that I think we, we need right now. Um, in our in our time and for people to see the road back and someone who's not giving up when something tragically tries to stop them uh, from going forward in their in their goal of, of life and things they're doing. So thank you too for, for joining us. Um, it is the uh, Gabby Gifford uh, story. It's called uh, Gabby Gifford Won't Back Down. You have to see it, people. It's amazing documentary by these two amazing uh, ladies here. So please check it out.